In the previous video, I briefly mentioned how Maya can be procedural, but it can also break very easily. So let me show what I'm talking about with that. So let's just say that we have a sphere here. And let me just add a shader to it. So I'll just add a new lamper and I'll just add a checker pattern here. Right. So with this, I can still now go in and I can add in more subdivisions and all that's awesome. All right. I'm just going to undo that. But if I undo that back, so if I now actually go and instead of selecting the object, I select the faces and I add in the shader instead. And I'll do exactly the same thing. So it looks exactly the same. And I now go and do this. You can start to see it starts to break. Now it shows up gray here for this time, but you might get um, errors here where it actually it either shows up um, like this bright green. The bright green just uh, tells you that you really don't have any shaders assigned and it's just completely broken. So what's actually happening here is that the because I actually selected the faces, I actually told Maya, hey, these um, face IDs that I'm passing you in here, these are the only ones that I want you to add the shader to. So when I then go and modify this polysphere and create more faces, Maya is going to say, oh, this is a new face and it's outside of the range. It's not in this list of face uh, numbers that I was originally given. So I'm not going to add in the, I'm not going to add the shader to it. So you can see that if I just go here now and I can still go back and fix this by like, I can select everything and just, uh, sorry, if I go here and I can assign my Lambert two again and you know, we're good. But if I still go back and if I add in more, we're still going to get the same issue. So this is something that you have to be very careful about. If you do end up having rigs or setups where you are changing the number of vertices and the order of vertices. So this is exactly the same thing as if I were to, let's say I just put this to like, oh, sorry, eight is I'm trying to write eight here, but that was very difficult. So if I now go and I say, I will select this face and I will extrude it. I'll move that out here and that's awesome, right? If I now go in and I go basically before this extrude face happens and I go, I want to add in more subdivisions. I basically, I want to smooth out this shape. So obviously you might just think that you can go in and just add in more subdivisions and it's going to be great. Well, the sphere is smoother, but this is now changed placement and it's actually gone a lot smaller and something's happened, right? And that's basically because what we told this poly extrude face node was that, hey, this one face, I want you to extrude this out. And when we then start to add in more subdivisions here, we're basically going to move this face around. So that's something that's really important to understand in that flow. You know, if you were doing the same thing in Houdini, the same thing would happen if you were specifically saying, Hey, I want it on this face. Now that's where Houdini is a lot nicer is that you have a lot more tools to really deal with grabbing the kind of data that you need procedurally while Maya is very limited in that regard. So if I just set that back to eight, you can see that we get this thing as we want, but if I Let's just say I go in and now add a smooth on top of that. Now that might be more of what you were expecting, but it's really important to kind of remember the order that you do these tasks in. Now, what is kind of interesting with the shapes and all of these things as well is that pretty much all of it is um, kind of based around points here now, but if you actually uh, were to use 
some of the deformers in Maya, you could actually change a lot of things completely. Just as I showed that if I added the uh, shader, the shader to just the whole object instead of a couple of faces, I could change the number of, um, of subdivisions here, right? So I could still go in here now and, you know, I can, I can move this, oops, sorry. So I can still do this and it'll do the whole thing, but let's just get rid of this and let's do this new one. So if I have this now, and if I add in a non-linear deformer, for instance, and let's just say that I add in a bend and I add in some curvature to it. If that, oh, sorry, the bend handle. Right, let's just stop in a bit. Oh, I was looking at the wrong angle, sorry. So I've added in a bend here now, but what can, we can actually do is, I can actually go back and still change this because the bend actually just operates on the full shape. It doesn't operate on like a, really a per vertex uh, data information. So we're a lot freer to, to change this. Now, if I were to just turn off this and let's say that I added in a cluster. Now, you might think that this should break because it's a, it's more of a normal deformer, but this actually works if you just keep the cluster as on the whole shape as well. Now, if you now go in and actually paint the cluster, and just add in some, um, some per vertex data here, I'm just going to just smooth this so that we just have it, just something very, very soft like this. If we now go and change this, you can now see that it starts to mess up completely. And that's because of exactly the same thing as we looked at with the shader. Because we've taken something that was actually working on the whole object and started to specify per vertex data. And that's when it thing starts to mess up here. So if we had just had the cluster on there and hadn't changed the weighting, this would have been totally fine. But of course that meant we couldn't, could have only changed the whole object. So this is the thing that uh, a lot of people will often be thinking like, this is where Maya is really bad, all of this, all of that. But it's, um, it's fairly logical. But again, it's Maya just has very bad tools of being able to allow you to manipulate this data in a procedural way. Like you have to go in and manually paint these weights and do all of that. And it's just a bit of a pain to deal with it.